Alright, we're rolling. Should we go? Yeah. Is this video too? Yeah. Oh, I have a beautiful hat. There we go. <laughs> no, I do. It makes me look like Whoa. You know. Hey guys. He's the head of the bowling league. Well, we're just talking. <laughs> We got the uh, hilarious here we Eddie Peppertone here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was just talking. I did. Uh, I never do NPR. I'm not like a, I never get booked for NPR when I'm promoting a special. But I'm doing. Uh, I'm producing the first special I've ever produced. Dina Hashem special hey. for Amazon. Really? She's hilarious. It's a great special. But what uh, can I ask a question? Yeah. And hi, Eddie Peppertone. <laughs> what does Great that comedian. mean to produce a special seriously? It just means I help try to sell it. <laughs> it doesn't. I mean, he like, doesn't really. It, that's producers, yeah. Or, or like you know, she, I mean, I watched it and I was like, I'd cut this, I'd cut, but like, oh, it's, but I said it's your special, and right, you so you're gonna make help, it. You're with, gonna help try to sell it. Yeah, no, it's on Amazon now. Oh. It's out now. Oh, okay. Uh, Man, he should produce yours. <laughs> well, you had one. Wasn't the last one Amazon? Uh, the last one, yes. Hey. That was hilarious, yes. by the way. That was a great special. Killer. Which one? The last one you yes. put out. Yes, it was called, was it called? Um, For the Masses. That was a great special. Mm. I mean, it was... Uh, Thank you. I still remember... I mean, a lot of the fucking bits. Uh, the one about the... Uh, it was like the femdom porn or something. Some really dark bit. Like all, Now, uh, femdom porn, that's your thing? Oh, I guess. <laughs> no, but I know I've seen it. It was like... Fe- I've it was seen like it. Domination porn. You said something yeah. crazy in the, one of the bits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get no. a lot of mileage out of bondage pornography. That's what it was. <laughs> That's a that great sentence. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's hard to watch it in L.A. because the sun is blaring. Oh, oh yeah, that fucking time. Hard to jerk in the sun. It, it, it's just it, it's a mental thing. It it's is like you're watching people in hoods. They're hung from hooks, <laughs> and outside, it's just beautiful. <laughs> It's just me, birds. Right, right. People jogging, and you're like, what am I doing? What am I doing indeed, Mark? Yeah, but we, we're road comics, so that hotel midday jerk is kind of nice. The amount I jerk yeah. off on the road is it's is like, it insane? Oh. I'm like, what is this, vacation? Go on Zoloft. So You'll never jerk off really? again. <laughs> oh, really? I heard you can't you can't finish. It sucks, yeah. It, it sucks. The finish is really difficult oh. on Zoloft, you know? It's a bummer. Um, I mean, I think we were raised as men. Oh, it's great that you don't come early. Right. Right? Because I used to come just, you know, on the phone call with who <laughs> trying to be funny. Didn't work. <laughs> um, but, um, uh, yeah, this one, it, it's tough. It's tough to finish. Really? You know? Even with a, a pretty hooker? <laughs> uh, but uh, even with a hot lady, it's uh, it's tough? <sighs> Yeah, it, it gets a little, it, it, you know what's so funny? It gets a little pressurized the other way. Ah. Like instead of like you're thinking of baseball to try not to come. Yeah. The famous Woody Allen bit, sure. if you remember. Great bit. Where he's like. Just don't think of Derek Jeter. What's that? hot guy. <laughs> don't think of Derek Jeter is what I said. <laughs> you might come. But, but he is a Yankee. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if you heard of the bit. <laughs> what, too you heard of the bit and, and, and boy, Woody Allen. I, I, it's it's touchy now, but anyway, he, he was uh, he touchy goes, then. <laughs> <laughs> We're hot tonight. We're hot tonight. Uh, he was like, so I'm thinking of baseball to try not to come, and he goes, uh, so McCovey's up. <laughs> this, is, this is all in his head. McCovey base hit, base hit. I I pull a hit and run. It works. Lanier gets another base hit. I got first and third. She's already in the shower. <laughs> like, that was the punchline, uh, is that man. he's so into the baseball. His stand, his old stand-up was, it, it really still holds good. up. You know, comedy doesn't age well. It still is great. It does. It's, it, it's, it, it's not topical. It's just yes. evergreen jokes. shit. Yes, he's got that great Silly one. shit. My wife tells me I'm immature. Uh, I was in the bath the other day. She came in and sunk my boats. Yes. <laughs> you know, he's yes. got a million of them. I, lo- I mean, Bullets Over Broadway to me is his funniest movie. Dude. That movie just kills me, dude. A B. Fuck. What's your favorite line in that movie? Ooh. I got one. <sighs> Hit I me. love I love when she's narrating. Um, I think I fucked Di- up. Diane Weist when she when she walks in. Don't she, talk. Is uh, that that's one of them? Don't talk. 
But I love when they say, uh, you know, she said Helen Sinclair arrived late, but she had a good excuse. And she goes, my pedicurist had a stroke. She required, <laughs> she, she, she landed right on my feet. They required bandaging. That's, that's a great fucking joke. Oh, that, that's like yeah. multiple jokes. He really, like Mel Brooks, who's also like a legend. Sure. You know, by the way, this podcast, this episode should be called, called the celebration of Woody Allen. <laughs> 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 Cosby next. But Mel Brooks is the same way. They go for joke jokes. Yes. In their, and in I love their it. shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. God. I damn. remember being shocked. Even as a kid, just like watching that, being like, holy shit, I cannot believe they're saying this. Were you a prudish kid? No. <laughs> I'm but <kidding>. I just, <laughs> but it's just like they didn't make movies like that. You're like, this is insane. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. The N word is said. 800 times that's true and they over. cut a lot of shit they, i heard him on fresh really? air talking about it, another npr ref really <laughs> npr up a storm npr today. i was so happy to be on anything npr when i was doing dina's thing because uh my my <laughs> itinerary when i have a special coming out it's like bar stool bar stool it's like yeah. not a lot of npr in there you know yeah so. yeah oh bar stool sports yeah yeah <laughs> okay cool um <laughs> <laughs> no i don't know anything i i Bart, you know, you're a big Nick fan. I know I that. Am. Are you a sports You're guy? a New York guy, too. I'm a Stad big... I was at the Ranger game last hey. night. Like, I love hockey and Rangers football and baseball, year. but the Knicks were so bad for so long, dude. I, I just... Are lost. they good now? They're good. Okay. They made the second round of the playoffs last year. They're solid. We'll see. They're a disappointment <laughs> oh, every boy. fucking year. Oh, yeah. What about on, you? Baby. Are you I got the, the Saints. They're all disappointment. You know, they're like the Southern Bills. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Southern, I'm a, both teams are pretty good. Well, the Bills are pretty good. Bills those are pretty are good. good this year. But I like boxing and uh, UFC. You what? I like boxing and you. I prefer more of an individual, oh, like a tennis. You like one on one. I like one on one. You're like you're like uh, Christopher Lloyd in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest <laughs> when Nicholson was strangling Big Nurse. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah. And Christopher Lloyd was just a oh, fucking yeah. killer. Yes. Fucking killer. He's like Martini. You're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great scene with Nurse Ratchet, and he's trying to kill yeah. her. Yeah, and Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd because he liked like you the one-on-one -on -one combat and the martini how great would it be if danny devito was and he's a corporate whore <laughs> how great would it be if he was shilling for jersey mike's as martini <laughs> as martini like in a hospital gown right. just oh it's good it's good <laughs> you know what annoys me so much is there's these uh and i watch them all i'm a fucking whore for these things but they have those instagram tiktok people who are just like in their car trying sandwiches and stuff oh and, and that's gotten big it's Huge. gotten big too they, like literally whatever joke we post you know doesn't even touch them you know putting dressing I on know. a fucking what the fuck I is know. that the guy the guy's going like mm, this is perfect it, he's eating fucking jersey mics oh he no he's thinks, not he thinks he's a fucking you know Kind of sewer. Yeah. He's talking about it like it's like fine dining, you know? And he's like, he's like, you dude, know, there's an okay. Italian guy who's great. A yeah. kid. Do you know who I'm talking about? Oh, Young Meal guy. by Coogs. What's that his name? Coogs, that skinny guy. He looks unhealthy yes. as shit. Coogs? Yeah. Where well, he's just like, I fucked your sister the whole time. That oh, guy. oh, no, no. This guy goes, here we are at Tatulio's. <laughs> the best. And you believe him because of the passion behind it. The best fucking roast beef sandwich. And he eats it. And it's just like, okay. And while I'm watching this from L.A. going, I'm going to go to Tatulia <laughs> as soon as I get back to New York. You know what I well, mean? Well, I think we got Guy Fieri to thank for this. You know, you make fun of mm. diners, drivers, and dives. I watch it every time it's on. Do it's you? Per it's just great to well, he's put just in the background. Positive. Like, it's not good, but he's just on, he's just like, he's like, this is a fucking sandwich. I'm like, that's the energy I need when I'm in Des Moines. You know? Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Is this Nico? Is that the New York Nico Oh, that's guy? the dude. No, that's Coog. the dude. His name's Meal by uh, Coog. What, what's it called? Meal what's he by called? Coog. Coog. Uh, this fucking guy. Why in the car? This guy's going to die at 37, though. Do you see <laughs> Every fucking thing, he's like, use a little more provolone. I'm like, dude, you're going to fucking die. What is it? it it's just great. Come on. He seems so authentic to me. Yeah. That's fun. But check him out. He he is kind of... He's like... He's wearing... No, but now he's wearing these, like, uh, nice glasses, which... Oh, he's And he's upgraded. got this trimmed shit. Like, he, he's obviously making some money now, right. right? That's not cool. How many views you got up on this puppy? Yeah. 
How many? I don't know. I can't. This feels like Look a, at how many comments. Wow, this is a ripoff though. This isn't the guy's actual page, I don't think. Oh, maybe, yeah. What? How do you know? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Mills yeah, by but Twitter's not where they should 2.6 million yeah. followers for trying Dude. sandwiches. Now, by the way, does it ever get you down like uh, that this shit, right, does so much traffic and just about the mediocre mediocrity of people in general yeah. like what they're attracted to what do you think Mark? you're more of a people person than i am and well, I, I think so <laughs> is sam because sam is like oh i you know it's great it's good energy i go with the negative i <laughs> no i come at it i come at it from and that's what we love about you <laughs> no that's the thing <laughs> right we got I, good energy on your bad energy that's right <laughs> the yin and yang but I don't think it's healthy for me ultimately probably no not. you're clearly probably. healthy <laughs> alright but, <laughs> but no I mean <laughs> I'm just I think it's that great that helps. you gotta have, <laughs> but you gotta have your voice you know you're, that's, you're, that's you you're authentic yeah yeah I, I, I just I just later in life, I've been like, wow, I'm going to die soon. You know, no. I don't know how soon no. I'll make it through this. You're going to make it way longer than that kid. That kid's <laughs> yeah, that fucking true. They bashed. That's this true. is your role. How to get bashed. All, you the, all, the, all the speeches at the funeral, like he would have he wouldn't have wanted me to eat this sandwich while I gave this speech. Right. Oh, that's fucking that's a semolina roll right there. That's fucking that's for you, buddy. Pour out a little Diet Coke on his grave. <laughs> DC. Uh, Diet Coke. Man, I. I, are you into that shit? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's addictive. But man. you can't blame him. You got to blame the masses because he's just seeing what works and 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 giving them what they want. Who the, yeah. the, the sandwich kid? Right. Right. But it's it just it's just to me depressing that the worst shit. I mean, that's not the worst, but sure. just people flock to bullshit like, oh yeah nothing highbrow no no like i would love to do a youtube channel where i'm just talking about let's say rembrandt but like just little facts that people don't know about rembrandt like just make them up too <laughs> That Rembrandt had a deviated septum. <laughs> Whatever. I couldn't get it up. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That don't go would blue. draw people. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'd be like, you know what kind of pencil he used? It wasn't a number two. It was 2.1. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a boring Bob Ross. Yeah. You know? Yeah. A boring Bob Ross. Yeah. Turned out he was a big pussy hound. Is that right? Was he? Bob Ross got a lot of pussy. He had a sex appeal. He had the, the hair coming out of the shirt. That's he had a true. full fro. Apparently denim. He was a drill sergeant in the army. Whoa. No. Yes, and he was so sick of yelling. He's like, I'm never doing that again. Is that what happened? Is that right? Now, that's a great tidbit. Maybe yeah, that would have yeah. happened to the guy in Full Metal Jacket if he didn't get his head blown off, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he would have been a painter. That's right. <laughs> right. D'Onofrio didn't fucking He blew him. his own head off, D'Onofrio. That was him, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, that I worked scene. with him, and this isn't to come at you because I'm sure you have things going on. <laughs> Name but dropping. I worked with him in in a show called uh, Deadline. It was mm. on for a heartbeat on ABC, and I was, and he was like, I, I like a cop or something, and I was like a news reporter going, Mister Johnson, Mister Johnson, you know, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> did, right. he, did he chat with him at all? By the way, this is why I don't tell story. <laughs> <laughs> because my stories go no fucking where. Yeah, I know what, what you mean. Uh, you've been in a lot of movies. I feel like I'll just be watching them and be like, that's fucking Eddie Pepitone. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, you know, a lot old of school. TV, so, yeah, old school. How was, was that? The best. Whoa, that's right. Dude, I, ju I, I was in New York, UCB, and Scott Armstrong, who co-wrote it, I don't know if you know Scott, He's a writer, and he co-wrote it, and he just comes up to me. He was part of the UCB crew, and he goes, uh, hey, would you like to be in uh, in a movie with Will Farrell?" Like, this was right before Farrell. Old school made Farrell. Yeah. Yeah. Like, big. Like, he was already big from SNL or whatever, but... And uh, and Roxbury, like, was a movie he was in, you know. Right. Was Roxbury with Catan? Yeah. yeah. Is Catan still with us? Yes. Barely. <laughs> Barely. He's hanging in there. Yes. For him to be relevant now, it's it's a lot, isn't it? Like, yeah. Boom, boom, his big thing was the disco thing. That was No, that was a movie. Colin Quinn's in that movie. Is he? Yeah. One of my favorite comics. Colin Quinn has a great cameo in that movie where his whole character just asks, uh, he goes, did you just grab my ass? That's all he says the whole movie. And they're like, no. 
<laughs> no, no one is grabbing your ass. That's his whole character. Did he do it more than once in the movie or just once? No, he's like he's a recurring character. <laughs> it's a running right. gag. So what, oh no, what, maybe the other guy asks him and he has to say no. But it's oh it's, yeah, it's, it's good. It's a good thing. So what happened in old school? So yeah, I just want to tell you um, that I that Armstrong came up to me and said, "Would you like to be in this movie?" I was like, "Fuck yeah!" So I go to L.A. Had no idea I was going to move to L.A., but they put me up right next to uh, Venice Beach. So Ooh. I was on the water. Wow, you know, and I've been landlocked here. <laughs> you know, once you get well, as a New Yorker, you know, I didn't. I don't know if you guys do, but I don't go on boats here except the ferry. Yeah, the Staten Island ferry. You know, which I did fish off the back. Uh, a lot of people don't know you can bring your own chum. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I go out to L.A. and I kind of, it was incredible. I fucking was hanging out with Vince Vaughn, Luke Wilson, and Will Farrell. Yeah. <clears throat> the other guys at my level were Rob Corddry, oh, yeah. Simon Helberg, who became big with the um, Big Bang shit. Oh, yeah. And... Um, a guy named Rick Gonzalez who became a movie star too, you know, and it was just incredible hanging with fucking Farrell and being right up close watching him do his thing. Amazing. Crazy I, Vince Vaughn. You, you, you were know. both directed by the same director. Oh, yeah. Todd Phillips? Yeah. yeah. What, who? Very briefly in The Joker. Were you in The very Joker? Br I do stand up before he goes on. That was very brief. Oh, shit. I have a lot of range. You win. And, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of range, I <laughs> But uh, that's cool as fuck that you're with. Uh, was, how was Vince Vaughn to work with? Was he cool? He was very cool to me, um, but a little, a little crazy. I remember he was smoking a lot of cigarettes, and mm. Wilson, Luke, would be like, and, and he kind of is an all American guy, Wilson. That's what yeah. he looks like anyway. And he was like, you got to stop it, Vince. Damn. <laughs> He's like and this Vince character. Would be like, eh, uh, and he'd be like, ah, no, I know, I know. And uh, I met Wilson once on Conan. We were on Conan together, and he was so freaking nice. Yeah. He came in, nice. I had a good set on that one. He came in the green room after. Or the, oh, really? And he was like, I'm going to keep my eye oh, on Oh, that's you. so oh, no, really? never, never saw him ever again. Ah. It, was, it was a nice moment. Well, he's, but he's in the shadows looking at your stuff. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> no, he's a nice dude, though. You know, Will Ferrell, nice. such a funny guy, obviously, trained Shakespearean. No. And I think that's why he's so funny, because he's so serious that, in a comedy movie, like and that's Nielsen, funny. Exactly. Right? That is a great insight. Yeah, that fun. That is a great insight. Have you thought about critiquing... <laughs> Like <laughs> acting work in general, <laughs> like just a show called "Let's Take a Look." That's the, name, that's the name of the show, and you play clips, yeah, of like like, like an old like Shelley Winters when she was hot. <laughs> <laughs> she was. I don't know. She if was you know hot. That. She was hot. Uh, we lost a Google. Oh, we lost she got the fat. Google. She got very fat. Oh, really? That's complacency. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, what old the, school is great. Yeah, what other movies were you in? You know, a ton of stuff. Um, let's see. I was in um, the Muppet movie. Ooh, really? Those... Jeff Dunham's? All right. So... Jeff Dunham's. <laughs> no, uh, it it was with, um, who the fuck? Uh, Amy Adams, the red hair, and, and uh, Jason, he was in uh, How I Met Your Mother. Oh, Siegel. Jason Siegel. He's fun. And check it out. There she is. Wow, she was a bombshell. She was a bombshell. Look at that. Full-figured gal. A full-figured gal, and it went south on Titties, her. Titties, dude. Yeah. Titties for days. Snackers. What's that? Titties for days. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And I heard she liked to fool around. Ooh. You know? And she would have been. Like, look at her. Yeah. There's the picture yeah, later. Yeah, wow. She it really doesn't go it. well for, I think, any. Most people don't. Men age better. Yeah, we're lucky yeah. in that regard. But we're, we're <laughs> we rough are. We're rough in, in the young years, I think. So check it out. I'm on the set of... Uh, there it is. You're the in Muppets. a ton of shit, dude. Jesus. Uh, yeah, and I'm on the set of The Muppet. Terry was another movie. School for Scoundrels. Oh, yeah. Um, but The Muppet movie, I did a dance number... The choreographer, I would play a postman. It was like a cameo. Mm -hmm. They called, like they would do different people doing little cameos. And 
I danced around this town square, and the choreographer was Mickey Rooney's son. Jesus. And he he was, was... In, he was in yellow face. He was like, we're going to keep the tradition going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't get that reference. I laugh, but I don't oh, get it. Oh, reference to Tiffany's. He was the Asian guy. What's he? Yeah. He played an Asian yeah, guy. Yeah, oh, oh, sorry, yeah. Now Pull I know why up. those folks... Got so upset yeah. <laughs> with the Madame Butterfly, yeah. with the Boxer Rebellion particularly. I mean, his uh, his uh, rend render renderance. No, what do you call it? Rendition of an Asian guy is pretty wild. Oh my god! There it is, boy. And what year was that? How fifty five? Fifty five. I'm guessing. Wow, it's in color. That's amazing. Oh yeah, he that went that all in. kind of stereotype. Sixty one, way off. Sixty one. So that wasn't that long ago. No. By the way, no. we have no sense of time. We think 1961 was forever ago. Yeah. Like in, it, it's nothing. 80 yeah. years? It's nothing. We'll be gone. I think we're going to be gone. Here comes my negativity. Bring it on. Yeah, I think this. How, how long do we have? Dude. Really? Dude, before the shit hits the fan in this country, I'll give you a number. And when I mean shit hits the fan, I mean... It'll be violent here. It will be dangerous just to do anything. And that'll be in 2027, I believe. Whoa. 2027. Just think about here we are now and, and things are teetering or I think things are teetering already. Yeah. You know, I know it's going well for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we tend to look at. Like, hey, I'm in Boise, you know. Yeah. That, that was my highlight this year. <laughs> Boise. Nice place. Right? Very clean air. Yeah, yeah. Nice people. Clean air. There's a lot of survivalists there. Yes. Yes. You know, but 2027, what about the election next year? It's you, they, Democrats cannot run Biden. No. But they, they will. They can. But they will. I don't they know. They will, will and they'll lose. I don't know uh, if they will run them. And then we're going to get Donnie again. Well, they say that Gavin Noose might slide in. Oh, come on. I bet really? he runs. I bet he runs. I'm calling it right Maybe, now. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know if he'll win, but I'm I, saying I bet he runs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I Donnie's. Don't th I don't think he's got a lot the, of popularity. He's got good hair. You don't think, he's, he's, tall. he's terrific. He, he's terrific looking. Yes. He looks like a newscaster. He's news terrific caster. looking the way like a, a <laughs> Batman villain is good looking. <laughs> Where you're like, yeah, sure, Aaron Eckhart is handsome. Oh, right, yeah. Right. You know, but it's like something, I don't know. I'm not saying I'm a fan. I'm just saying I think he's running. right. Look at that guy. He's like a like a. Don't news Californians hate him though? Some yeah, do, but most, he, he won again. Mostly, he recently voted against giving the actors unemployment, like during really? the strike. Yeah, he also yeah. did a. He passed a law that made test scores easier or at lower standards for black kids or whatever. And I'm like, what? What are you doing? Yeah. That yeah. feels weirdly racist. Yeah. He's uh, what you call a shit lib. A shit, <laughs> a shit lib. So you think your prediction is Trump wins and then, it oh, goes, yeah. and then it goes down the toilet. He's polling well. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Oh, but And way. plus the world, if you're checking out the world, it's. Did something happen? Glo <laughs> globally. It, yeah. this, is, this is it. And I don't know yeah. if you guys are. But I like to come from this point of view on yeah. stage, even though a lot of people aren't into it, <laughs> that globally, man, it's the oppressor against the oppressed and the oppressed are starting to rise up and it's just going to be chaos. Oh, yeah. You know, the chaos we're witnessing in the Mideast, which I think is going to grow. Yeah. That war, I think, is going to expand, you know? Right. Yeesh. Yeah, doesn't seem good. It's no. good television, but it's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> but have you seen Is It Cake? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the dichotomy, right? And that's the thing I talk about a lot is like, and I'm, I'm as guilty as anybody, the distractions. Like, what the fuck do we care oh, yeah. about what's going on in the Mideast when right in our neighborhood a 
great macaroon shop <laughs> just opened up. And, exactly. and they, the technology now, the baking technology with macaroons is amazing. I love a macaroon. They're, oh, they're... they melt in your fucking mouth, and you're going to give a shit about exactly. what's going on. Yeah, yeah. there's a new Indiana Jones coming out. I there's mean, a yeah. new, is that right? Well, they just it's had out, one. Yeah, it didn't look great. No, it did, no I, I, I think it was. I love those growing up. But they're, they're, yeah, yeah, everything, they just keep making the same, same shit. The same, same shit. That no one's taking a risk. You know comedians. what I like? There's a new movie coming out with Natalie Portman. Have you heard about this movie? No. Natalie, because one of the things I got for homework for you guys. We got a wreck. I say idiot. You guys <laughs> is, uh, oh, recommend something. She's in my top five, by the way. A new yeah. Natalie. Todd Haynes. There it is. Oh, he's oh. a good director. Todd Haynes. He did, Holy um, Todd Haynes, a gay man. He did. He did a. He's gay. <laughs> that explains. He, that explains. He did a very strange movie it's on YouTube or something. It's it's a it's on the Carpenters, and he has Karen oh. Carpenter as they're just dolls. The whole movie, really, and it's about her downfall in a bulimia. I want to watch that. It's actually really cool. Check this Interesting. out. Interesting. So here's the, you see that guy on the left, Charles Melton. Okay, so yes. the premise of the movie Unk. is Julianne Moore was a teacher and slept with her seventh grade student, Ooh. which was Charles Melton. She went to jail. She gets out of jail and she hooks up with him again because they're soulmates. Hell yeah. Natalie Portman is a journalist who comes to do a story on it and spend some time with them. And she falls in love with him. Wow. This guy's a fucking pro. <laughs> and, good for yeah. him. And so it's an intense, <clears throat> sick, sick movie. But those I are my it. favorite. Those you ever see the movie To Die For with Nicole Kidman? Yes. That's that a great movie. Awesome. Yeah, I love, I love kind of dark her. comedies. Yeah. Really? You know. Is she fun? She's, I I dig her in anything great, she yeah. does. Did you see uh Big Little Lies? Yeah. yeah. Is it good? My wife oh, loves it. Did did you? And so I watched it. Yeah, it's good. Wasn't it good? It's really good. I was like, at first, and this is me. This is me in a nutshell. Like, I'm looking at the fucking trailer, and I'm like, oh, it's about a bunch of rich fucks in Monterey, <laughs> California. Beautiful scenery. I'm like, fuck these people. And then I watch it. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's, it's basically there a bunch of Karens. But the fun thing about those shows is it's basically real estate porn. So you're like, it's, it's real kind of, estate you know, porn. That's oh. how I feel about Succession. You're just like, I get to look at these fucking sick. That's true. But I never uh, saw Succession. Porn has great real estate as well, shit. even, by Which the way. One? <laughs> porn. Yeah. Just regular porn. Has, they're like fucking on a stairwell. I'm like, this is a beautiful That's home. That's a beautiful yeah. stairwell. Uh, yes. I always it's look nice for island. things in porn like, <laughs> wow, they really... They they don't they don't give you any idea where you are, right? Yeah. Every room has to be blank. Yes. You know, and I always look for, oh, maybe there'll be like a Jimmy Buffett CD. Like, get some insight into the homeowner. Yeah. You know? But That's no, true. you know, right? Give like, me a Frasier box set. A Frasier box set. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there you go. Oh, God. Oh, that's a good time. So this is a that's good, a this good is a, time. This is a good movie. It's not out yet, though. With, yeah. May, December. Or May, I forget what it's called, but it's a May, great, December. It's, uh, I'm gonna it's just it. from the trailer. Here's another sick twist. Twisted. I like twisted emotional. Hell yeah. Did you ever hear the movie Damage with Jeremy Irons? No. Check it out. Here's the premise of this one. Jeremy Irons has like a tense relationship with his son. And his son's about to get married to Juliet Binoche, right? By the way, they look so old in these pictures you're pulling up. But anyway... His son's about to get married, and they have a, a father-son relationship that's fraught with a lot of bullshit. Jeremy, Juliet Binoche and Jeremy Irons, the father, get attracted to each other, and the father sleeps with his son's fiance, And that is like... That's Shakespearean. Exactly. Ooh, I'll, that's hot. And I'm watching that just going, fuck yes. Oh, yeah. Well, it's really know. like porn with good dialogue. Oh, yeah. It is. It's like, it's what a lot of these premises are. You just like, we shouldn't be doing this. And you're like, shut up, slut. Oh, it's a better line. Right, right. It's cinematography, <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. It's, it's elevated porn. Remember that movie, Unfaithful? That was hot. Oh, Which one was that? Was Diane that Lane. Diane Lane and that super hot Hispanic Richard guy. Gere, yeah. Roll Julia or no, no, no. way hotter. No, he was, <laughs> well, he was long. Dead Andy Garcia came out younger. He's a young buck that I don't think ever worked again. That guy, he never worked again. Paul Martel. Well, 
Is yeah, Diane the, Lane was a fucking oh, dime piece in that movie. Is it, yeah. Whose mother is she? She's the mother of a, Nathan uh, Laura Dern. Oh, okay. Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, different lane. But go go scroll up a smooch. That, she's the mom. Oh yeah. She's the mom of Laura Dern, who's have, really yeah. Wow. You know what movie I watched the other day? I'd never seen. It was pretty cool. Is uh, you ever see the Spanish Prisoner? David Mamet. It's pretty yes, fun. I haven't watched that in a while. It's, is it good? It, it's a twist movie, yeah. right? Yeah, it's it's like they're lulling you along. It's weird, but I I was I yeah, it's know. weird. And Mamet's dialogue, I he used to be my favorite because I I studied acting, and this is mm. again not to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that I'm sure you. We saw your IMDb, dude. You're fucking, no, but I yeah, you're stacked. you know I don't want to step on any toes here. <laughs> Her daughter. Eleanor Lambert. Uh oh. Look at Eleanor Lambert. I'm not allowed to. <laughs> not These much-y. people are great. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> what was I? I was talking about what? Mammoth in acting Mammoth. school. When I was in acting school, dude, did, did you ever uh, read or see sexual perversity in Chicago? Mm, never heard of it. How about American Buffalo? I've heard Definitely, I've never seen it. Vince Gallo. Yeah. Oh, is he in that? He, I think he directed. Yeah, it. he's sick. He's a sick puppy. Oh yeah, right? Buffalo '66. That's, that's Buffalo. What I'm thinking. Sorry, you're not sorry. American. Oh, you Buffalo. see, you're not. You're not right. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wrong Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I can't talk theater with you guys. I. Uh, no. No, and that's fine. Buffalo Wild. Barstool. If you want to talk barstool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, barstool we're not, sports. We're not as cultured. We're you working know. on American Buffalo. There you go. No, but Mamet, <clears throat> Mamet's dialogue, and tell me if you didn't notice this, Sam Doreen, Spanish prisoner. The dialogue is a little forced. It's a little. Now, in this one, it's not. He doesn't even curse in this one. It's kind of a weird. It's a more restrained I watch script. It yeah, it's it's kind of. Who's in it? Oh, there he is. Uh, it's Campbell Scott. I like Campbell He's Scott. He's great. Yeah, and, and what uh, happened Steve to him? Martin is in it. Oh, Ooh, Steve really? Martin plays. It's like very against type. All right. It's pretty cool. Yeah, okay, I'll check it out. Also, right. House of Games is a cool mammoth one, too, I thought. with uh, I liked House of Games. That's a cool one. He threw his wife in that one, Lindsey Krause. Yeah. Ah. People do that. They throw their you know. His their next spouse. wife is in this one. His what? His next wife is in uh, Spanish Prisoner. Oh, you got a Phil Spector movie. I'll check that out. <laughs> is there? Look oh, shit. Oh, Mammoth wrote the screenplay, I guess. Hell yeah. Yeah. Edmund. Edmund, can you click on Edmund? Is that Macy? Oh my, yeah, that is, Macy works with him all the time because they're from the Chicago theater scene. Uh-huh. Have you heard of good something, good? Fellas. <laughs> good Will Hunting. <laughs> good Burger. Good Burger? Uh, is there a good burger? Yeah, there uh, is with Keenan. Where? Yeah. That was like old school. That was our it's, childhood. It's a Nickelodeon comedy. Oh, with Keenan Cal and Ex- Keenan and Cal. Yes, that's it. Yeah, Welcome I, to Good Burger. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Edmund. I don't know Edmund. Edmund. Click Good. on Edmund. Good flick. Uh, Matt, can you click on Edmund? Oh, Sierra DVD. A man becomes involved in a twisted game of sex, lies, and murder with three young women. Ooh, Denise, Denise Richards. Richard, Mina Suvari, and you could do worse than these triple yeah. whores. Joe Montaigne's great. I remember uh, doing a guy's podcast. He's a guy who was famous, and he goes, "Who are your childhood crushes?" And I and I said, uh, "I don't know." Denise Richards was really hot. He goes, "Name some more." I go, "Jennifer Love Hewitt." He's like, "Uh huh." He goes to break. He goes, "Fuck them both." Wow. And I was like, "Are you serious?" Yeah, I won't wow. say his name. But right. Like, All right. Oh, right. I'm gonna just throw out some names. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'll do is I'll look at your podcast history. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it was not ours. It was, it was Neil ours? Brennan's pod. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Fucked them both. Yeah. Who's this? Carson Daly? That's incredible. <laughs> Carson Daly. I don't think he's got game to you. Whoa! Carson Daly dated Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, he did for a yeah. hot minute. Yeah, he had a run. He had a run. He's he a cute a good little run. guy. Yeah. yeah, and he had a talk show. I mean, he was big. He was an MTV guy. I know, but come on, we're comics, and I... he's not one of us. No, <laughs> no, you got that right. Right. Definitely. He's not one of us. Oh, Tara Reid and him were there. Same with she Love Hewitt. Oh, okay, hot. okay. Uh, Tara yeah, Tar- Reid seemed like right. she could have been a lot, though. Yeah, she's a nightmare. She uh, was hot. Kimmel got him in the biz. Mm. No way. Yeah, Kimmel got a lot of Bill Simmons, Corolla. Bill he got, Simmons. Yeah, he got he, he got all these people in. Corolla. Mm. 
Oh, Ashley Simpson, Jamie Presley. Man, this guy was on a roll. Good for him. This guy was fucking everywhere. He does look a little like, okay, he's he's been he's, damaged he's by a, life. You have to be damaged handsome. by life to, to want this kind of lifestyle. Wait, wait. Yeah. Is he married to a woman named Siri Printer? What? That can't be right. Oh, Siri Pinter. Okay, I was about to say. This guy's... Is that Harold? Is that a relation to Harold Pinter? Uh oh, give yeah. it a goog. Who's Harold Pinter? A great, famous playwright. Really? Yeah, famous playwright. Is, uh, Betrayal it... was. No, a... Mark Pinter's. Okay. Dead. All right, good pull Got though. You. I yeah. like where your head's at. Anyway, I'm talking too much theater to you guys. <laughs> well, it's it's New even York. though what really looks good on Broadway, I get off at JFK. Again, not to break that kind of lifestyle. I get off at JFK <laughs> and a huge moral mural. A that's huge, a moral. Yeah, that's a, a a huge mural of a new Broadway musical called Shucked. I saw with the corn. Oh I was, my! I had a good laugh God. about that. Yeah, I that's took where a, we're at. Yeah, that, there you go. And uh, look at that. My this? friend is a theater person, and she goes, "I just feel sorry for all the people in that cast <laughs> because she knows what." Just look at them. Is it a musical? What is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got a kernel of truth. <laughs> Did they say that? Is that I'm your, just throwing that out there. The, you see, you would be great on the team. <laughs> no, on the PR <laughs> team for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah well, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Um, yeah, shucked. I don't know. I don't know. Usually they pull it from a movie or, you know, hey, we'll do a show. Well, that's a new with, thing. It's all movies. It's, it's all, all movies. Oh, the uh, Broadway stuff? Yeah. It's pathetic, man. I remember, remember the big one with Spider Man on Broadway. I didn't, and yeah. it just it just like couldn't open. It was like cursed. It that couldn't would, open. That would be a funny show. Is like a failing giant play. Yeah, where like one guy, dude, gets he's Spider Man. Dude, the, the, did you ever see Noises Off? Do you guys know that, that play? Check that out. They made a movie of it too, but the play is way better. It's about a production that goes fucking haywire. I oh. saw it on Broadway with Peter Gallagher. If you remember, oh, him. I yeah. I'm talking too much. No, I met him no. once in a, in a store. I was in like, Peter Gallagher. I was in like seventh grade in a, in a bodega, and I was pissed drunk with a friend of mine. And I was like, "You're Peter fucking Gallagher." You said that. And his wife, and he was like, "Ugh!" You could tell he was just like, "Fuck this drunk kid." <laughs> and his wife was like, "That's so sweet. He knows uh, you." Uh, See, his fun. wife knows what's up. <laughs> where Gallagher is short, that vision he had <laughs> was he's a good actor. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He I haven't heard anything. Too. He can sing, Really? He can sing. He did, like, Guys and Dolls and shit. This He's is, like... This yeah, there is a solid is. cast. You got Patti Lapone and Jane Curtin. Holy shit. From what? What is it? This is oh, Noises, Noises off. off. Michael Fred. Dude, if you get a chance, fucking... There's We're a movie. We're getting some here. But yeah. the play is so funny. It's just about how it goes haywire. Have you ever been in a play? Either. either yeah, oh, yeah. I grew up in plays. I did was a big really? play guy, yeah. Isn't it... The fucking real play is just what Sam said. What goes on... Behind the scenes, the little romances that yes, always happen. Always. You know, or, and the fucking fighting. Oh, and the it's lighting whole, guy is yeah, mad. And then yeah. the, the one guy, the prop guy, has got a vision and everybody hates him. Yeah. And yeah, it's. And you find out the guy running the soundboard is wanted in like three <laughs> yeah. Midwestern states. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you mean Joe's real name is Arnie? Yeah. <laughs> You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, and you go in the, the set designer guy's garage, and it's just swastikas. All this stuff. Yeah, there's always I'm an alleged story. human trafficker. Okay? <laughs> yeah. How do they never get convicted. the job? I guess they're people. I, I always say in job interviews, well, I'm a people person. <laughs> and it usually helps me when, yeah. I, when I was looking for work back in the day. <laughs> so why do you want to wait table? I used to wait table in New York. And uh, they'd be like, well, so why do you want to work on um, here at Cité's Steakhouse, a French steakhouse. Again, I don't want to hurt you. Um, you no, know, it was upscale. Oh, okay. And they, they'd be like, what do you want? And I'm like, I, I just, I'm a people person. And he, the guy looks at me and he goes, come on, man. Ah. Like he called me on Yeah, it. that's great. And I said, I, so then I said, okay, you want this level? You want truths? I go, like Nicholson and a few good men. I go, I need the money, Frank. I need the money. I got I got my balls against the wall. <laughs> you know? I got a I got a fucking dental bill out the fucking ass. <laughs> and then he goes, "Okay, but do you like our food? <laughs> wine?" And I go, "Oh, that's the level of truth." <laughs> and he said, "We'll be in touch." <laughs> 
Well, you got the job. I did. Hey, there you go. I did. I did. There was a fire. A lot of waiters got hurt, so I was called in. <laughs> did you? <laughs> I waited tables for 10 years. You did? Oh, oh yeah. is it a brutal? Here? It's brutal. Here? No, never in New York, thank God. Oh. But I would eat everything off the plates. Were, you, were you a plate eater? Oh, yeah. Save here. I mean, if it's a shrimp, it's, uh, it's individual. Oh. You know, it's, it's, Did they touch it? No, they didn't touch that. Let's do it. It's got a casing on it. <laughs> we would go in the garage. That Cite had a big garage in Midtown. I think it's still there. And we'd go in the garage and eat shit. Oh, yeah. And smoke joints. Oh, yeah. And I would go to tables. Sometimes I got too high. And I would. I got fired on a night I was high because I went to a table three times with a bottle of wine and ruined the cork. Uh, three times like oh i'm sorry i'll get you and not three bottles wow and it was a family they were uptight the the father was uptight and i did after the third time he goes i want another waiter oh that's devastating and that was when i got called on the carpet the next day yeah you know and I said, but come on, I'm a people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to wait tables at this high-end place. I was trying to make a couple bucks called the Windsor Court. It was like a high-end in New Orleans. Uh, and this was like old-school, debutante, southern white oh rich people. You know, God. I had a crummer. You know, you had a crummer. Yes. You know that shit. And <laughs> I, I had hated the, white the crummer. Jacket, uh, the whole thing. I was to- so out of place, hung over every time. You had to get there at <laughs> 5 in the morning. You had to chop shit. You know, it was brutal. It was a horrible. It was like the military. But uh, oh, opening the wine was so fucking scary. It was stressful. You're, you're right on the spot. And they're like, yeah. you know, I'm 19 or whatever. I'm hungover. I'm sweating vodka. And I'm like, yeah. ah. and then you, you break it. And then you yes. have to redo it. Then you ask the, the old guy to help. Oh, my God. It was <laughs> the brutal. old guy to help. You. Yeah, that was a tough gig. There it is. The Windsor Court. I mean, it was old oh, school oh, old yes, slavery shit going on. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. A lot of mint juleps floating around. Yeah, oh yeah, a lot of seersucker. Look at that. It's like the Last oh. Supper. Oh my God, that's like crazy. That's like beautiful. Would though. it be people like, oh, we're going to get ourselves a nice bottle of Chablis. Yeah. So I do declare. A lot. I do declare. <laughs> I guarantee you. We were doing that at his new wedding with a lot of us shit face going, I do declare. Oh yeah, I was down there. Stavros going, I do declare. I'm going to get my pecker sucked tonight. <laughs> Where's this? At Mark's wedding. Oh, yeah, it was, oh, in, New Orleans. It was yeah. in New Orleans. I saw pictures of your wedding it looked like oh. fun oh it was a hoot and a holler it was yeah Good what'd you time. do it in new orleans right in the french quarter holy shit i don't know how you people you you grew up there yeah how do you survive the summers there oh it's a nightmare I, I always say New Orleans is great to visit. It's fun. But living there is like a drag queen in the morning. You know, it's, it's fun at night. It's wow, that's a great sparkles line. Sparkles and everything. But in the morning, you know, when you live there, you see the, the oh, next yeah. day, you know, oh. and it ain't pretty. And you have those like flying roaches, right? Oh, That's like a New yeah. Orleans thing. We got is flying that right? roaches. Yeah, they have cockroaches that fly. Yeah. That's They're another. Mutated. Can I have a napkin? I have to Before. spit. Please. Sorry. What do you got? Tobacco? Mm. No, I. Hey, We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Fume. Their entire course is about how to break habits. It's not easy, baby, but Fume is here to make it simpler. Fume is an innovative, award-nominated device that lets you keep the habit but gets rid of the bad. There's no electronics, no vapor, and no harmful chemicals here. Just all natural-flavored air. Fume even works as a fidget toy with the movable parts and magnets to keep your hands busy. I love fume. I like to just hold it, play with it, put it in my mouth, blow it, jizz on it. With six awesome flavor cores to choose from uh, and an adjustable airflow dial, ditching your bad habit just got much easier. Stopping something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to fume is easy, enjoyable, and fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use code DRUNK to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code DRUNK to save an additional 10% off your order today. Hey, hey folks, we might be drunk as brought to you by Manscaped. Put... Smooth balls on your Christmas list this holiday season. Manscaped new performance package 5.0 Ultra has everything you need to make your package look great. It comes with the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra Body Trimmer, the Weed Whacker 2.0 Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. 
their Crop Soother, Aftershave Lotion, and Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. They're also throwing in two free gifts, super comfy boxers, and a travel bag to store your stuff. I love Manscaped. I keep it in my suitcase. You know me. It's got the light on it. I feel like I'm doing some real mowing down there. I get it all up on the sides and the shaft. I got to keep it trimmed. Not a lot of inches to work with. So get on it. Look good. Feel good. The ladies appreciate it. Or the men. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra does it all. It comes with two blade heads and a standard trimmer blade and a foil blade for a super smooth finish. And it's waterproof. Shave in the shower. Manscaped skin safe technology. You won't even be scared. To go for that super close shave right before the big holiday party. The performance package has everything you need to shape up, look, feel, and smell amazing. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code DRUNK at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Code DRUNK. Hey, DraftKings, baby. This year, I'm thankful for a week of NFL football, and DraftKings Sportsbook is keeping me extra thankful. New customers can... Bet just 5 bucks on the NFL action to score 150 instantly in bonus bets. No matter your appetite, there's something for you. Money, lines, parlays, props, live bets, and much more. You name it, we got it. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code WNB. WMBD, sorry. Mm-hmm. New customers can bet 5 on the NFL Thanksgiving action to score 150 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL with code WMBD. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER in New York. Call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY to uh, get help. In West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net. Please play responsibly. In Connecticut, you know what to do. On behalf of Book Hill Casino and Resort, Kansas, you must be 21 or older in most eligible states. But ages vary by jurisdiction. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details and state-specific responsible. Gambling resources, eligibility, and deposit restrictions apply. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after insu- uh, issuance. issuance. Terms at sportsbook.com. DraftKings.com slash football terms. You know what sounds more fun than all these words is gambling. Yeah, just go to that. Gamble. Hey, hey, folks, We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Aura. We all have that one ridiculous photo that our family thinks is hysterical. You might want to keep it off of social media, but it's the perfect thing to put in a digital picture frame with three unlimited storage With free unlimited storage, you can send as many photos to the frame as you want and allow an unlimited number of people to send their own pictures to it. Go ahead, start an Aura photo frame with your family, your friend group, or even gift one to your boss so that you can add a little fun to the workplace. Pretty cool. Frames get old. There's the same picture in there from 1988 where you got a double chin and jizz in your eye and all that and but this will rotate them this is the way to do it now everybody can see all the photos you don't have to buy 19 frames and cover your whole desk it's pretty good it's pretty good idea aura is even interactive reactive photos with emojis send your congratulations and more from now through black friday and cyber monday aura is offering their best deal of the year listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting aura frames dot com slash drunk that's a u r a frames dot com slash drunk use promo code drunk to get 40 percent off their best-selling frames terms and conditions may apply get on it it's a perfect gift it we'll cut is, that a out. disease but um, <laughs> okay what was i gonna say that's another thing i didn't mention in this collapse of civilization that is gonna happen <laughs> happen sooner than anyone thinks. Sure. Is this good for your audience? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so is the eco stuff, like you're talking about flying fucking roaches, the pandemic was an animal thing. It's going to get worse. Yeah, yeah. It's only can go down, <laughs> you know. It can't go up. No, I mean, just the diseases, the fucking... Pandemics, the Yeah, viruses. the pandemic. I mean, the pandemic almost killed all of us, in a sense, like the mental illness. The, mel- oh, the mental illness yeah. was the worst part, wow. I think. I think it revealed a lot of yes, a lot of mental problems that we that we all have. Right, and some people just but snapped then, to see people. Sna- yeah, I think a lot. I of love people- Zoom, though. 
Zoom was great. I love Zoom. I personally, I, I like the shows, the comedy. You did? Oh, I, you're yeah, one of the very, <laughs> oh, you funny fuck. Come on. That God. was hell on I earth. remember being in my, I, I did a Zoom show, the first one I did, and I was in my fucking kitchen and really trying to give it my all. And about two minutes in, I was like, this is stupid. Yeah. I couldn't hear anybody. Yeah. You know? My friend put it best. He said, it sucks to bomb at home. <laughs> you know, yeah, because yeah. Uh, if you bomb at the club, you go, all right, I'll get out of here. And you can wash it off a little at home. But at, at home, you just go from there to the couch. Your wife like, ah. has seen you. Yes. It's literally like a sex robot versus a live show. Yes. Know, like, it's exactly. a real woman. I feel like a live show is a real woman. And a, and the Zoom is like fucking a robot or, or yeah. whatever. I don't, it, nothing. Me and my wife have sex now on Zoom. So that <laughs> that is a good thing for me. <laughs> you know, because my body's gotten a little tired of all of it. Sure. How long have you been married? Uh, ten years. Oh, that's, cool. that's not bad. Yeah. It's not long. Ten. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So like kind of later, right? It's what? I mean, you weren't married super young. That's kind of nice. No, I wasn't married young at all, man. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I since it's a hard, I think marriage is very hard. I don't know what you think. I it's so difficult, you know. Are you new? You're newly, newly married. Yeah, but oh, I can't. You, you, no, Blair, bring it on. No, 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 I want no, the no, wisdom. No. no, I'm saying that I'm sure you're great right now, but <laughs> it becomes 2027. It's all going down. Well, well <laughs> the marriage too. You, you and your wife are going to have to survive. You know. The, the the era of makeshift weapons, etc. That oh, might bring you two together. Though. Yeah, that's something true. to do together. Yeah, yeah. honey, well, honey, we gotta sharpen the broom. <laughs> that's what I'll be doing. Sharp sharpening like mop sticks. <laughs> right. and it's like prison. <laughs> you know, gonna, we're in prison. You gotta have a shank. Yeah. Okay. Good I don't to think, know. I don't think the three of us are equipped for what's going to happen. No. Absolutely. No not. way. You got allergies. It needs pep. <laughs> allergies. Yeah. yeah. I have bad digestive. Right. Right. I'm. We're not going to make it. Long. And I'm going to need my Zoloft. Like. Oh I'll yeah. I'll be like. I'll be like. I need my. Zoloft. I'll be telling this to like whatever alt right. <laughs> like I, I figure I'll be strapped to like one of those huge trucks in the front like in Mad Max <laughs> you know just telling jo like I'll be earning my keep by going uh, alright I have sex with my wife on Zoom like just yeah, yeah. trying to stay alive the insult comics will be big then what Jeff Ross the what? Will be oh, yeah, that's Jeffrey right. Ross will be strapped to a tank and be like oh yeah tell your face a lot of that you know? <laughs> insulting right. Randy you gotta keep the morale up yeah that's true absolutely yeah there's no funny people in Mad Max or Water Nothing. World. There's no By comics. the way, which is why I wasn't crazy about the Mad Max movies. You nailed it for me. No fucking humor right. at all. No comedy. It's Escape a... from New York's got humor. That's true. You got like brain and stuff. You got you know. Yeah. You got some weirdos. That's Everything true. That, that, uh, Ernest Borgnine. Yeah, that's uh, right. He brings so much humor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. That but man. my friend, we went and saw Flower Moon or whatever, the Scorsese. You saw it already? Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's not fun. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's, 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 fun. It's, I found it to be the feel-good film of the yeah. holiday season. Yeah. <laughs> but my point is, it didn't have that Scorsese humor. Like, Casino has a lot of jokes. Mm. Wolf of Wall Street has a lot of jokes. The Departed is yes. some funniness. It had no Scorsese little oh, uh, well. irony or... Or, you know... Serious subject matter, man. I guess so. I you guess know what's scary it. is to see... De Niro. I didn't see the movie, but I saw a couple of stills of De Niro, and he looks so serious. Oh, he's great like, in it. But yeah, he's, yeah, he he's serious. is just incredible when he's like, you know, that fucking dead on. Yes, like the movie, which did have humor. Good f was it good fellas? Good fellas. Where, where De Niro was whacking everybody, mm -hmm. like, and they would stop at slow motion. That meant you're dead. <laughs> yeah, Remember? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah, him just smoking a cigarette. Nah, 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 nah. That's a fucking cool ass shot. But, oh man. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. It wasn't, there wasn't enough. Like, you need a release of tension when. Oh, you saw it too. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't love it to be. Is honest. it in the theater? Is yeah. that where you saw it? Scorsese, I go right to it. Tarantino, I love, yeah, I, I go right I love to Scorsese. Who's the other one? Tarantino. Me too. Me too. I feel like you'd be good in a Tarantino. Oh, I yeah. would love to be. Yeah. Kate Berlant got in the last I one. I saw she that. Was good. I wrote her she a message. She was fucking. Yeah. Yeah. You did? You yeah, I was like, little... I just saw you in a little Hollywood. Congrats. Yeah, I should tell her that. That's been enough time. You missed the window. <laughs> I did miss the window. <laughs> Seven years well, he's ago. He's making one more. Uh, no. The movie critic, right? That's what it's called. Oh, yeah. It's Tarantino. Well, he's only got, what, two left? I think this is it. This is no, it? No, I thought, I thought Hollywood Ending was his last No, one. no, he's got one more. 
Oh, I can't wait to see that. The movie critic. He, oh, that must be fun. Yeah. His movies are. He horrible. can just do whatever he wants. I mean, and people will see. He's it. proved to me too that DiCaprio and Pitt are way more than just pretty boys. Oh yeah. What fucking great actors. Do yeah. Both of those guys are. Well, I mean, DiCaprio came out of the gate with a special needs That's true. kid. What was Gil- that? Gilbert Gray. Oh, that's right. Basketball Diaries, he was solid, too. I mean, I, I think he's I didn't see the good. Jim Carroll thing. Is that what it was? Mm. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. It's not a Christmas movie. <laughs> no, I, I think I was right. Basketball Diaries is about all these people. Hundreds. It's about Jim Carroll. Gro- yeah, yep. you're right. Whoa. Yeah. His nice. life as a high school basketball 47% star. 47% on Rotten Tea. Oh, Come I, I on. Good, Bruno man. Kirby died so young. Yeah, Lorraine Bracco right. was the therapist in yeah. uh, Sopranos. Yeah. And Goodfellas she was in. Wow. Movies are great to talk about, huh? Is but, it because we all, it's like a shared, yes. it's our shared culture. And sports too, I guess. Sports If you're a sports fan. Is there is there not anything worse than being in a group of people, and a few of them aren't into sports? Yeah, Lemon, dude, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> and I'm very sensitive to that. Like a lot yeah. of guys will just, or a lot of people will just fucking keep going, yeah. and I'll be like, no, no, Dolores, <laughs> Dolores is bored. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't like their basketball. They don't like you the know? women's basketball. They don't watch um, it. Yeah, I like it. You're, the only you're only a guy. fucking. That's your number one. <laughs> no, it's not <laughs> basketball. Oh yeah, basketball. Yeah, yeah. What? What? Well, was, I, what I, did I, you think? I, of? WNBA. I thought you were saying, but no, NBA is my number one. Yeah. But but I like I like the WNBA though. I do. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I can watch that. Yeah, you know? I love. I just love basketball first. But yeah, you're. What are you? Baseball? Hockey. No, hockey. Oh, hockey one. Hockey one, and then base. Yankees and Giants. The Giants are so bad in football. Yeah. I'm a football tough nut. to watch. What? They're just, t- it's tough to well, watch. Well, now they it's never gave like, me a chance. Now it's like watching, are you, yeah, you like the Saints. Yeah. Now the Giants are like watching just like horrible traffic jam. <laughs> like it's just like. I don't even hear about the Giants. I hear about the Jets a little. And then. They got killed the other night. The Jets tease success, but you know, and the Aaron Rodgers thing was like the greatest cock tease. How yeah, about that? How about that? The vaccine got him. No, <laughs> No, but uh, you know the Giants. It was just like they they went from like an interesting playoff team last year to probably the worst team in the league. It's pretty wow, crazy. They, they're really, really they're re- yeah. It really and it really hurt me because I was very up for this year. Yeah, like I you needed distraction when the world is this fucked up. You sports are important. Sports are huge. The Rangers they look like they're they going to be big time cup contenders this they're year. They're fucking awesome. I think when. When uh, the streamers, these apples or Amazon, yeah. when they take sports, TV's done. What else besides news and sports is getting people to watch TV? Yeah. TV is... Uh, That's although true. it is nice to have an escape. From, like when you turn on Netflix, at least you're not going to see the news. At least you know oh, yeah. when you turn on Amazon. That's true. Like, you're talking about streamer. Like you, you're talking about network TV is going to be done. That's what I'm saying, yeah. 2027. All they have is sports and news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, when the shit goes down, the news gets very good. It goes way up. Yeah, it's like I'm down here, and they're, they're, the technology has gotten so good with filming shit. And oh yeah, they're on the ground, and there's stabbings going on right next to them, and you're like smoking a joint. And <laughs> I order in, for instance, I order in. You, you, I I love hurricanes. You probably know <laughs> New Orleans, but in L.A to watch a thing go to category five <laughs> and when it makes landfall i always make sure i have like a pizza or something <laughs> you know what i mean uh, like to watch them. i get it i mean you see that patio furniture going in florida and you're like hey all right uh, yeah. this is good tv <laughs> but i know that people have hurricane parties oh in we had fucking them. zones we right? had them yeah that was a big deal school was shut down so you, you got after it you got after it, yeah. Sometimes it rained enough. You get a canoe out there down down Main Street. You know, it, it was, was crazy it was in New York when the because the fucking subways when they were flooded. Oh, that was wild. Oh that my was the god, craziest shit. That dude. That's wild. the future. That is what I'm talking about with the eco shit. 
cities underwater. You but know. you know what might be cool is like you throw on like scuba gear and you yeah. just fucking you know, the train still moves, you get on. It could be kind of fun. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> cool. Like yeah. Futuristic. Yeah. I like that. And New Yorkers yeah. are like underwater still pushing <laughs> to get on the train. <laughs> right. You get like a little mariachi band still coming on. Yeah. yeah. Not sounding and for good, some like, reason. Trying. Yeah. Got to pay him. Showtime, for, showtime, showtime, showtime. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for some reason, the announcements are clearer underwater. <laughs> right. For some reason. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Nobody knows why. I like the hobo coming on. Oh, yeah, the government, you know. And the dangerous people are less dangerous underwater because they can't move as quick. You know. <laughs> or how about the one guy? <laughs> I was trying to work on a bit about like when you I, I made eye contact with a crazy guy in the train, and that's like the closest you come to feeling like uh, like a woman at a bar. We, oh, like, you right. accidentally lock eyes. You're like, "Fuck, he's coming over." Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> funny, yeah, man. Yeah. That's funny. But it's such a it's such a fucking awful moment where you're like, I oh. fucking I saw a guy getting <laughs> it's like yesterday I was walking around. Yesterday? I saw a guy getting yelled at by just a crazy dude, and you're just like the party's like, Do I stay and make sure he's okay? But you're like, I'm in a rush, I can't, you know? <laughs> yeah, tough. You, it's tough. It's New York. Yeah, I go. usually am also in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So what you grew up here, what was it like on Staten Island in the thirties? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, uh, big Jim Brady ran the town. No, um, <laughs> so I was born in Brooklyn okay. and at nine years old, my dad moved us to the country, oh. which was Staten Island. And I got to tell you, though, his dad was Chris Stefano. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you, though, we were the only when I when I moved there. Uh, we were the only house on the block surrounded by woods. And I thought, wow. I felt like I was in a horror movie. Like, I was like, fuck, man. How old were you for this? I was mm -hmm. in my 40s. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old joke, but very good. That's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic. So the, the, the island grew quickly. Oh, my God, yeah. But we were when it, they called the Verrazano Bridge the Guinea Gangplank. Wow. Because so many Italians moved to Staten Island. Right. And um, from Brooklyn. And we were we were one of them. You Are know? you Italian? My dad's Sicilian. My mom's ah. Jewish. Oh, okay. My dad's Sicilian. They're both dead. Ah. <laughs> Fucking mob God got him. Damn. Yeah. God I'm, damn it, age takes us all. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is Sicilian. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's why I... Yeah. Do you identify as Jewish because you're your mom or no? Not... No, I'm Italian, very Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a rush. Yeah. <laughs> was, was it kind of nice going back? Because you, you no. live in the country, and you got to go back to the big, uh, the big, the big apple. Well, I was always a city kid. I hated Staten Island. Yeah. Fuck Pete Davidson. You know <laughs> what I mean? This whole thing about oh Staten Island, it is such a shithole. Uh huh. You know, then and God now. blessed them. Now that's what Don Rickles. Well, Pete still lives there. Pete's sticking with. And him. the Joker, Sal Volcano, lives there. Chris D. No, Chris. K Chris is coming back. I oh, have okay. No interest whatsoever in Staten Island. No, uh, there's nothing there. There's no culture there. Yeah, you feel disconnected when yes. I'm there. I'm like, I gotta get I got, back. I got my first vax there. It was no great. Way. It was great Your for that. Your first vax? My first Why? vaccine. Why there? Because there was no nobody. Line. No one gave. Oh, it. because oh. there. That, that's a Trump era. That's like very red. Well, that's when I. That's when it was like you were like really excited to get the vaccine. So I was too, dude. And, but so then I got it, and uh, oh my god, it was so easy. I was like, no appointments. Then in Manhattan, it was like impossible. Yeah, oh yeah. So it was. Yeah, it was great. It was I great fucking. I'm such there. an idiot. Though. I got the Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> Yeah, and I thought I was doing great. I was like, I f and I had to go outside of L.A. big time. Like, yeah. By the way, I love that they were like. By the way, there's one bad one. You're like, out of three, that's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> You're fucking. You gotta have good ones. That's true. That is true. Blood clots. I heard. For Johnson and Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't feel well now. Don't listen. <laughs> don't listen to anything we say, man. Ah. We're fucking idiots. <laughs> We'll put a little disclaimer. On the bottom. <laughs> still, still doing misinformation. Right? Yeah. I hear, I hear it's blood cl clots. With I, no, we don't know shit. No, no, no. But uh, no, I remember being excited to get it, and Staten me Island too was the spot. Oh, look at that! You got a Ferris wheel now. What? 
I didn't know that. I've never the seen that. The case for living on Staten Island. A lot of mobsters moved there. Well, Chris DiStefano, our friend, moved there, and he's back now. But he, when he was living there, I remember doing his podcast in Staten Island. He was like, you got to move here. He was saying what? that the way you push a guy to come to a party, you know is bad. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. You know when the guy's like, no, this party's fucking great. He wanted to get his friends great. there. That's yeah. it. You know, you know what they say when it's a good neighbor? We're all, we're all booked up here. Good point. There's Good no, point. there's not really any availability. That's, That's true. true. That's true. That's true. But also, you're in Staten Island. You have to get to this. The city is where it's at. Of course, because there's I'm nice parts of Staten Island. I just, I, I wouldn't want to, you know, I wouldn't want to want to live there. I, no. I'd rather live in the other four boroughs by a lot. Yeah. 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 Well, just getting back here is the boat takes forever, and then the mm-hmm. the bridge is eight million dollar toll. It's unbelievable. It's crazy yeah. tolls. What is the bridge? Now, there's payment plans now for the very. I know, summer. right? I believe it's sixteen bucks. It's unbelievable. That's when crazy. I was a child, it was a nickel. No, no I'm kidding. <laughs> that sounds very funny. That sounds funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, I wouldn't want to live there. Guinea but... gangplank no. for owner. Oh, no, that's, that's that's old. Oh no, really? Oh well, that's with Easy Pass. Mm, oh, or? that's the Easy Pass. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, everybody's got an Easy Pass. I know. So I'm thinking of moving because my sister, had, and we're very tight. My sister again, not to hurt, Six that I have that kind of relationship uh, with family. <laughs> <laughs> Family's everything. To Every us. comedian just to us stop to listening. T- They're like, I can't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh no, I had a disastrous <laughs> upbringing. <laughs> but <laughs> really. My sister has yes. You perked up, huh? Yeah, oh, it was dying to hear about crazy. it. Crazy, touched. It was fucking crazy, huh? Say. Diddle. Oh no. Oh, no. oh, okay. No, that's the one thing I didn't get. All right. Well, you weren't. I didn't get. You weren't cute Did you enough. Get that? No, I, they, they it's missed. It's funny, funny that you brought. It's also funny to say that's the one thing I didn't get. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, right. Like right. it's a Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two things I never got: a Teddy rug spin or molested. <laughs> Just, Next know. Christmas. But um, my sister's a house in Woodstock, New York, and fucking Woodstock, the Hudson Valley. It's beautiful. It's fucking beautiful, and I'm thinking of moving there. Ooh, wow. Yeah, nice. and I'm thinking of doing it as early as. Uh, this summer, I've been in. Is Hawaii. that easy to get the airport? So for the road, from it's there? a pain in the ass. Yeah. Mm. No, there actually Albany Airport is mm. pretty close. Okay, but it's a drag to drive into the city because it's two hours mm. and you hit the GW. It's like because I did a show in Bushwick when I was hanging in Woodstock the last couple of months, and uh, that was quite a ride. Oh, yeah. Into Bushwick. You know? <laughs> and you get used to the nature and the bucolic. Right. The rural setting. It's so gorgeous there. Like, I would get up every day. Look, look at that. Look That's at crazy. that. It's unreal. And the it's houses It's crazy to think it's that. Hudson cool. Valley, man. Yeah. It's so close, but so far. It's, yeah, it's just great, man. I love it. And there's, <laughs> just, yeah. Just a bunch of sirens doing yoga. Look at yeah. that. <laughs> sirens. Just I know, right? Hanging out. Yeah, no, it's it's amazing nature. For some reason, they've just got amazing food there, too. It's just like... It's an artist community. Yeah. yeah. So it's the opposite of Staten Island. Exactly. It's the you anti-Staten know, There, it's plumbers and firemen. You know, everybody's talking about 9-11 on Staten Island. Uh, fucking 9-11. Yeah. <laughs> Still. Never yeah. forget. Yeah, yeah. 9-11, 9-11. Fucking never forget. <laughs> <laughs> You know, We're constantly. Tra- <laughs> yes. Constantly. He's like, shut the fuck up. I know. We're trying to forget. <laughs> We're trying to forget. Yeah. You know, in Woodstock, it's like, hey, man, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's up? And people are like, I know a guy in Woodstock who's been in a drum circle. No. For about 30 years. His family did an intervention. They, they <laughs> showed up at the drum circle and they were like, all right, look, Steve. How many times can you celebrate the sun going down? Because that's what they do. They, they drum until it. Yeah. And why no deodorant? Just because you're drumming. You, can, you don't have to smell like shit. Absolutely. Um, I went to Occupy Wall Street. A lot of, a lot of drumming there. Me too. Yeah. You went to it? Good. Good for you. Yeah. I popped in. Did a little man on the <laughs> yeah. street. Yeah. I, I wasn't really a part of it. But I popped over. I wanted well, to see it. I loved it. Yeah. I, I loved saw Ted it. Alexander Man, that there. got fucking X'd out. Ooh. Ooh did they of, fucking X that shit out? A lot of, what do you call it, macing? They were just macing people? No, I, I think, was it Bloomberg? Don't yeah. Know. 
I think so. I think so. And what they did is they they just declared all these Occupy movements a health hazard. Uh, that was the way they got rid of it. And they just... Whoop. How is it? What was the reasoning for that? Yeah, they said... Yeah, I don't know. And that was before the pandemic. They were like, it's just a health hazard. They're leaving garbage. Da, 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 da. There's feces. There's well, urine. by the way, isn't that funny? That's how people found out the outdoor contagion, uh, the outdoor COVID wasn't contagious outdoors because of like the BLM protests. Is that right? Is I that what it so? was? There, oh, the numbers because weren't nobody going got up. it when they were protesting. I think that was the thing. People mm. were like, holy, because it was the same people scolding the spring breakers who were like, we got to protest. Yeah. And it's like, well, no, it seems like people aren't getting it outdoors. That's true. It's, I don't How know. About that? Yeah, I, I agree. I remember, man, the pandemic was so crazy. I remember there's a great park right across the street from where I live in L.A. Again, and <laughs> I'm walking around. I'm walking around, and one of my buddies. It's so funny because I have a dog. I meet all these people I would never have anything to do with, and this one dude, Asian guy, he was like, he had a mask on outdoors, and I was like, you you wear it outdoors, huh? And he's like, dude, I figure it's got to be in the air all around us mm. and it flipped me out you know yeah it flipped me out back then yeah well that was back when we were cleaning mail you know we're uh, wiping down letters I was, and shit i was napalming oranges <laughs> <laughs> thank god for the peel <laughs> that was like i mean fucking lysol wipes remember that you oh, like, yeah. i gotta get more lysol lysol wipes. was unavailable the fuck were we unavailable thinking? remember they ran out of toilet paper everywhere they ran out of purel it was a, it was a what the wild hell we time know, though? Luckily, yeah. I had the New York Post <laughs> for toilet paper. <laughs> really Ooh. shitty newspaper. That Good post, sports section, though. That's true, and a great tweet Twitter follow because their Is headlines it? are so ridiculous that oh, they're yeah. easy to yeah, to like joke it. about. I like them. Yeah, they're fun to to grab. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but, man. Um, you been? Have you been on the road a lot lately? Yeah, yeah. You? you yeah, every weekend. We're pushing it. Oh, yeah. every weekend. I like the road. I do, too. But the way I do it, I go with my buddy J.T. Habersat comic. We go city to city. We don't just stay in for a weekend. Okay. We're bopping like today, city winery. Tomorrow, Philly punchline. Oh. Next day, laugh it up. In Poughkeepsie. Yep, yep. Then I go to Dojo in Jersey. Yep. Then we go to Arlington, Virginia. And then, like, so that. So and how that, many days in a row usually? That's rowdy. I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, it. some of the trips are like two weeks. Whoa. You know? And some of the places we stay a couple of nights, but um, it's a lot. It's a lot. Like, no. I like it in the sense that. Bam! You're in a new city, and you're in a new new club, new audiences, yeah. and that's cool. That's great, you know. Um, and go, I'd go through the South too. You yeah, know, Louisiana. I had a great time in Homa. Oh wow! These fucking people. I failed. I there. realized I used to be afraid of like the South, Arkansas, and I realized. They fucking love to laugh. Oh, yeah. So I used Some to be uptight crowds. about the politics and shit. It's just bullshit. It's just people. Well, salt yes. of the earth. It's down amazing. to earth. Uh, yeah. Some of the best shows I had are like, we, I, mean, I think Knoxville, Tennessee was like my best crowd. In oh, the interesting. Yeah. It's like unbelievable. Tennessee. Oh, it's amazing, right? Yeah. But it's just cities you wouldn't expect sometimes, that, and they, they fucking come out. Oh, right? Homa. Homa. No one goes there. And it was packed. I think it was a brewery. Yeah. It was packed. And, you know, I talked about I'm an animal lover, which is hilarious down there. And I say, I hate the way you people trick ducks with that bullshit <laughs> zoo thing. <laughs> yeah. That's bullshit, you know? And I started. And then after the show... They these guys who own the place were showing me videos of their dog dragging a deer through the woods. Wow. And they said, Would you like to come with us tomorrow on a on a hunt? This is how like a deliverance type thing starts. Yes, yeah, totally. exactly. You know, and I was like, Where's my Zola? <laughs> That's how that movie would start. Then the dog runs up and gives it to you. <laughs> Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. It is great when you end up being the stereotype you want and they become the one that, that you know. Yeah. You, you both kind of fill your fucking yeah. obligation. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got the New York Jew with the Zoloft. Yep. You got the You take out guy. a Nasa court, you're like. <laughs> you right, know, like, right. Oh, good, he is. <laughs> is that what you do? 
I yeah, no, not really. But I do take all. The, I take all this. I have a big thing. I of just you know. I'm a CVS bag with me. Just in, you never know. <sighs> Hell I'll be yeah. gone for like two weeks. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. Fuck yeah. I, yeah. I'll go out for a long time too. Sometimes. So. Do you? Do you do that? Do you get? Ex- yeah. Let me ask you both. Do you get exhausted on the road, even though you like it? Yeah. Sometimes, right? yeah. The you food is numb. shitty, yeah. You like, just you get numb to it, where you're just like, that's I, true. Where you're like, on, by day five, you're just like, all right, again. Time my for, day what? Day, day five. Yeah, you're oh, like another, yeah. yeah, another same day. You're it's, in, it's just uh, bad for my brain. I yes, feel like. I want to do different shit, even though the city is different it's almost like the the routine is too similar yes and then the problem is people go oh you're going to this town you got to do this you're like that's i have true. no time I, exactly you, you, you land you go to the gig you, you, you fall that asleep. does you got to eat at our fried hot dog uh mm-hmm. fried oreo and you're like cool i'm <laughs> been on the road for two weeks i'm trying not to die yeah i'm yeah. trying it's so right. true, yeah. man i see you're working out too on, on i TV. have been and that is because i go so off the rails on the road do you guys party on the road too? yeah so, too much yeah me i smoke a little and it it it's fun in the moment man and also after the shows i don't know about you guys i need to come down you gotta come right? down the yeah adrenaline of course of course it's insane like tonight coming back to new york i'm gonna have a lot of friends i haven't seen yeah for a long time it's gonna be insane it stresses you trying there, to be right? clean it's tough and I'm then, trying to be clean because when, I don't know about you guys, but when I party a little, I have no interest in working out. None. Of course, of course, you're human. Oh, it's but it's the hell. worst with drinking is you go, man, I had a bad set. I need a drink. Then you have oh. a good set. And you're like, let's have a drink. Yes, you know? totally. It's, it it's, works. And you have an okay set. You're like, well, I deserve a drink. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know okay set. <laughs> I don't settle for the okay set. <laughs> no, you can't because if you become an okay, like that was okay, right? Yeah. You know, that, and you got to get this all in before 2027. <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's well, you and you have a ton of funny shit out there. I mean, the uh, no, no, no. in runes is the other is the other recent one. That was a killer special. I loved it. Yeah, I really i. I, I have a secret weapon. The guy who directs me also helps me because I'm all over the place in my sets. I don't have a very written thing. I'm like, I'm going to go with this idea. Blah, blah. So the director, Stephen Fine Arts. Do you guys know Stephen? Mm-hmm. Anyway, he fucking directed both my specials and now he directs. He directed Marin's mm-hmm. last special. He's great. And he helps me organize my material. I tape everything and he actually has guys go through it and say this bit this wow bit. and that's kind of how i work that's nice but i need to get more discipline with the writing it's... i'm very like into the performing well you're great at it and i love it the loosey-goosey keeps it authentic and fun right right you don't want to be you're... too written you... i'm too written i think i you're... could use a little eddie no but you you do a lot of like off the cuff shit. I do it right? at the you end do too. Yeah, just because I'm bored with the set. Yeah, of and course. I, and I'm just I want to do new. Sh- I also yeah. You get. Isn't it great? I mean, that's why we. I feel like I, that's the rush of it. I used yeah. to open for a tell and oh. and uh, and he would. I could tell be so bored with the written stuff that he would just bring you up on stage at the end and you would just fuck around with the tell. Which, by the way, it's like that's however quick you think you are, you're not quicker than David Tell. No, Unbelievable. No. So it it would be a thing where I'd be like. Well, first off, I'll never get a high self-esteem working with this guy. Like, I'm never going to be like, I'm fucking funny. You're like, oh, wow. no. You just don't, you're like, I'm fine. I'm whatever. He's he's the quickest. He it's is. It's insane. I, this is what, I, Skankfest, right? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I saw you there. Yeah. Oh, right, right. He came up after me, right? And I had just finished, like, a rant about the military industrial complex. And Attell comes up and he goes, wow, this guy is... Uh, really for the people and it's funny because he looks like he makes his own ice cream i didn't even know what that meant but it was so funny it's so funny i saw him last night at gotham he was at gotham you saw he, him last night at gotham yeah and he had some great new stuff and he had a moment where he went oh, 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 oh. and the crowd was like huh and he goes sorry I had a little fetterman <laughs> i was like what a great oh, shit. what a wow. great uh way to cover that oh, you know ah oh, man it's just so funny yeah, to say that he's I mean, we talk about him so much in this podcast because we just all. I is feel that like, right? Well, I just feel yeah. like every New York comic loves Dave Attell, so his name just comes True. up so much. True, but, and uh, he's so New York. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. hardly ever see him out in L.A. 
No. Well, he's no. outside smoking a cigarette when he's there. He too. He's not in the club. He's outside having a cigarette, you know? That's but true. I remember seeing him once at the improv in LA, and it was just so weird. It's to, weird. We both were like, what? And I'm like, I know. And he's like, I know. <laughs> it just didn't feel right. But, yeah. But it's, yeah. it's so fun to run into him. Uh, I know what you're thinking. I look like I work in gun safety. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's great. Yeah, I remember one of my favorite Atel memories was like, I remember we did Terrytown Music Hall and we were driving back and he was so fucking good, but he just, he was like, I stink, I'm the worst, I'm the worst fucking Because comic. he was doing, did, did he feel like he was doing the same stuff? I Why did he say that? Because he does it all the time. He'll kill and he'll say that. And, and I was like, Dave. Is he serious? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's a real comic. That's <laughs> he's no, I mean, that's real comic. So but isn't, isn't it weird? But like, because we're like, mad that he feels that way but a part of us is like that keeps him great i don't know it does like, well isn't that the dunning kruger the dumb guy thinks he's smart and the smart you know the bad comic uh, thinks he's brilliant and hilarious and then the great comic thinks he's a hack but i remember driving back with him being like dave what are, what are you talking about we all think you're the best and he was like well i'm funnier than you guys <laughs> oh <laughs> that's the best <laughs> wow it's good that he knows that because sometimes he's so down on yourself you're like do you know how great you are but i think he knows a little he's, bit and he'll still zing you he's the fucking he's the best you know but um, uh, how long did you uh, tour with Dave? Not that long. Okay. I mean, it was it was never like I was his every week guy, but it would be like you That's know you remember it would be like every so often. Yeah, right? and we, yeah. And we would, and he was just so fun to be. Do out you still with. go out with him here and there? No, yeah. I, I don't see him as often because I have. Uh, You're all over. No, well, also that, but we still do the cellar. But Dave shows up at like one a.m. Yeah, and I have drilling <laughs> on my building for the last fourteen months that starts at eight a.m. So I can't call in late anymore. Right. <laughs> oh right. man. But. Uh, uh, yeah, he's a treat to see though. But he'll go. He'll show up really late usually. Oh yeah, he but likes I still, the late he's still By the way, dude. just to get this in, pet peeve, fucking construction. Yeah. Uh oh. Is so ubiquitous. It's so all over the fucking place. It's wild. And I just heard drilling in your building. Oh my god. Well, we can. I'll send clips. They're fucking insane. You've, you've seen them on the pod, but I'll send you one, Matt, to play up. They're fucking insane. It's wild. I, it, what he's showing one. is comical. It's it's like a bit. It's yeah. Un, I I don't know about you, but I, I as I've gotten older too, I'm so sensitive to noise. Yeah, same. You too. Noise and light. Yeah. Lights too. Yeah, I got a light in my eye. I'm ruined. I'm trying to get a nap on the plane. The one guy's got the, oh, the shade open. Oh, that motherfucker with the shade it's open. It's 7 a.m. Close the fucking shade. Right. Do you ever say anything? Nah. Me neither. Yeah. One I'm, time, the I'm guy in a rush. fell that's, asleep. That's my I fucking went. window, by the way. Look at this. No. That's uh, your window? Yeah. I just sent you another one, Matt. This is a more recent one. That's insane. Wow. And that's ours. Yeah, at 8 a.m. Wow. 8 a.m. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. At 8 a.m. What do you, you do, Sam? Do you com Have you complained? Yeah, but they just don't give. I mean, it's, they like, don't it's care, city right? shit. They don't care. But I'll show you. Uh, yeah, I just sent you a new one. There's, there's more. What are they this is great up? for an audio podcast, by the yeah, way. I'm like, yeah, listen yeah. to oh, the it worst thing. I thought it is. No, it's video, it's too. Look, look at this shit. Wow. I love that you're documenting it. Like, and by the way, it's like, I know some people are like, it's not that bad. The fucking apartment's vibrating. Yeah. They think you're yep. at work. That's yeah. the problem. It's they, crazy. They yeah, think yeah, they make, do it at night. But like. It's been like 14 months, so I'm like, I'm going a little crazy. 14 Less. months of Apparently, that? it's been three years. I've only lived there 14 months. But I'm, dude, I'm, Where is it? It's uh, in the village. Okay. But, I'm, dude, I'm That's literally- That's great. It's, yeah, I love the area, but I'm I'm mm. literally walking around like my fucking head. You oh know when, you, when you're just like not right? And then you sleep well for one day, and you're like, man, I feel like- you're like, Holy Do you shit, sleep better is... on the road? Dude, it's- I I'm, sleep I'm flying... in, hotel, in those hotels like- they think I'm dead a lot of times. They check on me. <laughs> you know? They Same. send what they call a checker. Like, <laughs> they hit you with a stick. You know? Sir, sir, sir. <laughs> it yeah. is crazy how much better I sleep on the road. Oh. Same here. And if the bed is awesome on the road, like sometimes. That's rare, though. I feel like every hotel you get bed an sucks. Oh. Bed. You what? I feel like every hotel pillow sucks. I hate the pillows. The the, but then it? when you go to the upscale hotels, I still have to you, feel, still kind of. I don't. I feel like it's all the same. Nah, I've know. gotten a few good pillows. Yeah. Have you ever thought of taking a terrific goose down pillow with you? I used to, I, and it's it's insane. It's you're like insane. you're a psycho. It's too it big. Right you're a psycho. Yeah. Doing I travel it. with a my pillow. I don't know. I, try to <laughs> I don't like the pillow. I just really like him and yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike Liddell <laughs> yeah. or whatever. He's just a great guy. He's terrific. That was hilarious. So you see that clip of him just losing it when the guy questioned the quality of his pillow. Like that's the most. 
loser? Oh, he was like, he was like, how dare you? It's a great pillow. And you're like, all right, well, at least wow. he, at least he stands behind it. I mean, he made it in the basement, got divorced through the whole thing. It was a real wow. endeavor. Wow, good for him. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you going to be coming up, like in December and stuff on the road? Check it out. After this tour ends, like the twentieth. I'm not back on the road until February. Oh, wow. And you know what? I need that break. Yeah. I just need it because boom, 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 all over this year, big time. That's a great one. What do you think of the website? I love it. My podcast, Apocalypse Soon. <laughs> great. Which 2027, I guess, now is the date. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Clips I see are hilarious. Oh, yeah. What's that? I was on one, I think. I think I was on an episode. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Was it over Zoom? Yeah. I yeah, that might have some... been at the very beginning of yeah. it, you know? I love the dojo. That's a fun room. It is, right? Yeah, it's nice and little and fun. Yeah. And the crowds are banging. Whitney Cummings was on here, by the way, talking about how her favorite bit is you heckling yourself. Oh, that's a, a classic. A lot of people love that one. That hit home. They love that overseas. Have mm. you guys done a bunch of performing overseas? Yes. We're just starting. Depends on yeah. the city. It's not yeah. all great. The what? It depends on the city. I did, and this is brutal, twice the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Wow. Tw check this out. 28 shows, an hour, no opener, in 29 days. One day off. And every day's like fucking Groundhog Day. Yeah. And Scotland and Edinburgh is beautiful. Edinburgh particularly is like fucking beautiful. Oh, yeah. You know? Did you enjoy it? The first year, I killed, and I had all this fucking, I then got Oslo and Melbourne. Um, uh, where else did I go? Oh, fucking, I've been going back and forth to Amsterdam still. You know, it's like a, it's like a market. It's like yeah. a world market, so you're seen by all these people all fucking over. Right. You know? And where I have bet, you guys been? Soho Theater I did a few times in oh, London. Yeah, yeah we, I just did London this year. I, you did? Yeah. Where? Uh, Leicester. Oh, uh, how was that? Leicester Square? Amazing. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, I mean, your hour must have gotten airtight from doing it. The what? The, your hour must have become... Dude, killer. it it really... It was like going... It was like fucking going through a fire and you come out and you're like, I was a better comic Whoa, for it. Oh, really? For it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's weird that that misery and that repetition is the, like yeah. it's like the equivalent of the gym for an athlete. I, it's like it sucks. I, but absolutely. Just and I it. came back. I did it twice. I then did it four years later with not as much success. I I don't know what the fuck happened. And they could be brutal. The Scot the Scots they could be like, you fucking suck. Not suck. They say something. No. They say shit like you're fucking no good, Peppertone. <laughs> it's worse than you suck. Yeah, yeah, it's oh not yeah. Quite, not quite as harsh. As yes, it's not quite as harsh, so it lands better. I know? did a, a month in Europe, just Dublin, Berlin, and Lisbon. Scotland was the last night. Lisbon. It was going great. My hour was cooking. I got heckled in Scotland and Glasgow for an hour. Whoa. Came out and they're like, "Look at this pussy!" Ah, you know, just out of the gate. They <laughs> love doing that. They shit. love. They're it. testing you. But I wasn't ready. And you know when the opener comes yep. off and he gives you one of these? Oh, and you're like, uh oh, what's in gonna Glasgow? Happen? Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, they were this close to throwing a bottle on the stage. Did and I, they didn't. They liked me. That was the. Weird and they part. liked you. Yeah. Do you ever hear the Glasgow kiss? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, you uh, know what the Glasgow kiss? Sloss on with a headbutt. He told us that. Yeah. yeah. The Glasgow kiss. That's what they call it. Oh, damn. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah. Tough I mean, town. No, where else have you gone around the around the world? Do you want me to say? I've done Dublin. Yeah, great. We did, didn't we do Dublin, Mark? Yeah, we did the Vodafone Fest oh, years yeah, ago. That's what I did. With Colin yeah. Brent Barry. Yeah, I love that guy. I love those guys, and I forget the other guy. Yeah, we got to, we got to, we had a great experience. If it was like me, Mark, Colin Quinn, Nate Bargatze, Chris Stefano, it was like a great group of Rachel, Rachel Feinstein. Yeah, just oh, like shit, like that's every, awesome. everyone there was like a great hang. It, it couldn't have been better. That's so that's great. It's a great great little town. I this is what I love about performing overseas, and especially at a fest. I love seeing other comedians from around the world and I, I find some of the fucking london guys to be incredible and the Ir a couple of irish guys tommy tiernan oh we saw him there. phenom nobody knows him here he's incredible he's fucking how about Stuart lee oh in yeah england yeah. yeah he's big yeah great holy writer. shit what a smart comic i know some might but say too funny. smart yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i have his book 
You do? Yeah, I didn't read it, but I have it. <laughs> His wife is fucking brilliant. Really? Brilliant. All right, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to do it more and more. I'm, I was, I mean, I was supposed to go to like Israel in April. That ain't no, really. No, no. Yeah, I was. But I mean, I was on the, so I'm supposed to do a lot of Europe in, mm -hmm. in, uh, in April. So we'll see. And I'm, yeah. I just yeah. can't. I'm, I don't know. I, Two weeks from now, I'm doing Gaza. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm telling my manager no. And he's pushing me. It'll still be good. He's like, we're trying to get you a better deal. We yeah. Think we gotta... Gaza strip mall. That'll be tough. A strip just, mall. It's just a funny bone, but it's right there. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No women openers. <laughs> oh, my you're in the God. green room. You're like, can I get a quesadilla? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so do you have your dates for february up for no 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 oh, yeah. um well, i'm going uh, what am i doing napa valley it's great because i'm going to be and i just came back from northern california mm. which was it's a whole different world up there it really is man you ever play humboldt county no seriously it fits the stereotype everybody is stoned it's the pot center of the fucking world. Mm -hmm. Humble. You see the documentary Murder Mountain mm -mm. on Netflix? Watch it. Okay. It's about marijuana growers. And oh, I think I did see this. It's amazing. Or at least some of it, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, some of it. It doesn't sound like you enjoyed it. <laughs> I guess you had to get back to the Scorsese stuff. <laughs> there it is. I, didn't see, I thought there was something else. No, I haven't seen this. Oh, it's, a, it, it's like riveting. You like docs? Yeah. Right? You get hooked into Love this em. one. Amazing. I can't wait. I'm going to watch yeah, this Yeah, you're going to fucking weekend. love it. And it's like four or five parts, so you kill like you're good until next Wednesday. These people <laughs> up there are so progressive. They're those kind of progressives that they won't take a vaccine because they're like, the government made it. That's You know, they go all too. the way the other way. That's true, too. But they're also loaded to the teeth with guns. Exactly. Right? So they have this blend. Yes, of like, yes, this kind of a libertarian. Yeah, that, that guy in the mask, You're what right. a fucking character. Huh? Liberals with guns, like Vermont people. Yeah. Is that what it is? It's a mix. Vermont is yeah. like that? It's like an alt-right trans. Good good club there. Yeah. I have fun there. The Vermont right. Comedy Club. Yeah, yeah Burlington. Burlington. Oh, Burlington. I fucking... I, for some reason, I hate the crowds. I, I don't do. Is well that there. right? I just did. I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're they're saying. They're like they're like on drugs or something. They're like not laughing. I'm like this. Well, is it's a little PC, right? Something. I don't, I don't even know if it's PC. I think they're like. I, 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 Are maybe, they dead inside? They, they might be dead inside. Mm. I, yeah, it, that may be money. Like, have you ever performed in Aspen? No. no. But that used to be where they did the big fest, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Those people are like, to make them laugh is like very difficult. So I just go after them. That's what they want. <laughs> I open with, hello, scum. <laughs> Not kidding. Uh, I feel the same about Hawaii. Oh, dude, I've Hawaii, done Hawaii is, I, is, I, 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 I struggle. I, I was, they tried to route it with Australia to make Australia easier on me. And I'm like, I don't want it. I don't want it. Why is beautiful. It. I'm sure Beautiful. It's great. That's why they're not fun crowds. They and that know. is exactly right. Kyle Kinane and me did a festival there, the Maui Comedy Festival. I did that. You did? It would only lasted a couple of years. Did oh. they put you up in the Hilton in an incredible Sheridan. hotel? And they gave us rental cars. Unbelievable. It was they blew their whole wad. Green sand yes. beaches. And wow. before this huge, disastrous fire. But. Maui Kanane goes to me right before I go up at some venue. He goes, I can't wait to see what these people are going to think of your end of the world shit because it's paradise. Exactly. What do they have to? So they don't know. care about our bit. What's up with cereal? Yeah. Like, what? I live on a mountain. You know? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> yes. uh, we'll 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 see you next week. <laughs> uh, yeah, and listen to uh, watch Eddie, all Eddie specials. Yes, They're all killer. Thanks. Listen so to his funny. podcast, Apocalypse Now. Really, one of the funniest comics out there. If you don't know his stuff, I mean, big fans really... over here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had some, thanks, you guys. Some tacos. Thanks a lot. All right, I'm, I'm MarkNormanComedy dot com. Uh, for dates, you know I'm coming right to your town. You don't say mm. tour rolling on and shows added. 
So we're coming to Florida, Columbus, Ohio, Indianapolis, New York, New York at the Beacon, Lexington, Kentucky, Charlotte, San Antonio, Houston, Boise, Salt Lake, Atlanta, Raleigh, Austin, Tucson, Phoenix, Charlottesville, Jesus. Charleston, El Paso, Albuquerque, Memphis, Tennessee, Little Rock. Where does Knoxville. this go to from from when to when? From now till summer. Damn. Oh, yeah. Now, what do you got there, Sam I got Vegas, Tampa, Fort Myers, then wow. uh, Buffalo, Springfield, Missouri. I'm, I'm back. Uh, I'm, I'm getting in shape for the uh, for the next special in March. So we got Madison, Philly, Woo. Miami Beach. It's Dania Beach, sorry. You're doing Omaha. another special in March. Yeah. He won't it's stop. Been, Dallas, OKC, Irvine, Salt Lake City, and then we're, we're doing uh, the Wilbur. So I think that's almost sold out. Nice. So, uh Wow. Can't wait. We'll see you guys. Uh, wow, four nights at the Wilbur. Uh, two, I think. Oh, two. Maybe, two, two maybe shows a night? We might do three. We it's might amazing. do three. We'll see. Uh, but uh, I can't wait. It's going uh, to be a fun run. Hell yeah. I got I to gotta write some new shit. for. I feel like I got the hour. I got to write some new shit for after. Exactly. That. Wow. That's what, these, that's what these clubs are for. I'm like, let me fucking write some new shit. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. Build. So, I can, so I can have an act when this Do you is write done. it on your feet, basically? Like kind of in the club? or I'm going to Because that's when we're yeah. flowing. I don't know what you think, but that on stage we're flowing. Yeah. Whereas when you're in your apartment going, mm, it's tough. Hell is funny. Yeah, radiators. <laughs> radiators. <laughs> oh, I know. Drilling. Yeah. I find that I can write. Ooh. I write in the apartment or the coffee shop, whatever, and then I tag on the road. I feel like that's oh, where okay. I get my... Because nice. I need the premise before I go bring it on stage. Nice. But... Well, guys, drink Bodega Cat Whiskey at bodegacatwhiskey.com. We love you. Uh, Eddie Pepitone, check out all his stuff, and uh, and we'll see you next week. Sunday. Doesn't look like I remember her